if you pee yourself, like it'll take a while to get through seven pairs of tights. That's true. Yeah. Just gently soak through. No one is ever going to have sex with you if they think that you're smart. I went on Drag Race <laughs> so that Susie Jump would be unemployed. <laughs> My best friend doesn't speak to me anymore because her son is in love with me. What can I say? Like father, like son. Welcome to Bad Advice with Olga Koch. My name is Olga Koch, and when I talk, Ted listens. Bad Advice is a show where I, the person Oprah comes to in times of need, and a VIP celebrity guest solve your problems one terrible tip at a time. Our guest on this episode stole our hearts during the latest season of RuPaul's Drag Race, where her ode to Alan Turing was an absolute cultural reset. She is part of the drag girl group, The Vixens, but you may not know that she also played a Hufflepuff student in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. So Drag Race wasn't the first time she was locked up with a bunch of snakes. Welcome to your coffee! Hi! Thank you so much for coming to Bad Advice. Oh, thank you for having me. How are you? I'm gorgeous, how are you? You truly, truly are. Tell me, Tia, what was the worst advice you've ever been given? A wise woman once told me not to wear H&M, which, <laughs> I think, given the state of the world and the fact that we're having an economic downturn, affordable fashion, how could I not? Can't resist. Do you get a lot, a lot of unsolicited drag advice? There's a lot of white male twinks out there who think that they can give opinions about my drag. And I say, no, my eyeliner's great. Are you ready for our first question? Mmm, always. Anna Jo from Brecken says, my friend is always super rude to me. I love her, but her comments about my outfit choices are starting to hurt a bit. How do I tell her? Oh, that's tough, isn't it? I feel like the friend might be negging her. Like, if I'm saying your clothes are ugly, I'm implying you should take them off. So it's like flirty banter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my oh. God, it's like you're so fugly. Like, who would ever have sex with you? <laughs> <laughs> have you not tried that ever? No, not once. It works, because their self-esteem is so low. I can't flirt. What is, okay, what's your line? Try and flirt with me. <clears throat> Hello. So, you're sexually attractive. No, 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 no. Okay, no. Not that. No, I'm ugly. That's oh. what you want. <laughs> you're I, difficult to look at. Hideous. Okay. How were you allowed outside? That's hard. Okay. You don't want to build me up, in which case I'll be like, oh, I'm too good for you. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, that is true. Okay. Well, so you don't want to be cruel. Yeah, you do. Come on, if you're trying to get laid. All right. Hi. What's up? You aren't kind to others. Do you want to come over to mine? Yeah, how do you respond to a friend being mean about your clothes? I don't know if you'd ever actually experience something like that. Episodes one to six of season two. Um, and that friend was RuPaul. <laughs> um, well, I would just um, lend all my clothes to the friend. Okay, so you're like, you know what you would look cute in, and then you give them the clothes. And then they'll just be so flummoxed that they'll have to compliment it. On to the next question. <laughs> Rosie from Newcastle writes, I'm staying in my friend's spare room for a week, but I can't poo in other people's houses. What do I do? There are no public toilets nearby, and they both work from home. See, this is a problem that I share. Would you really rather use a public restroom than a friend's house? Yes, because then you can run away from the situation. Like, once it's done, you never have to look anyone in the eye again. <laughs> the problem with office toilets is mm. that, like, your coworkers are there. Right. And then you have to like either, you're just waiting for that moment where they use the hand dryer to drop one and it's very <laughs> difficult to time, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. I like to put a little soundtrack on if there are people <laughs> in my home. It's like, oh, I'm just listening to music. I'm not going number two. I'm doing the much less weird thing of listening to music in a cubicle. Yes! At Drag Race, you all live together. So we're all in uh, separate rooms. But Those. when when you're on set, it's like a portally situation. No. So, yes. Oh, that's not right. No, not when you've got seven pairs of tights on and you've been stood on the main stage for three hours. If you pee yourself, like it'll take a while to get through seven pairs of tights. That's true. Yeah. Just gently soak through, dries as it goes. Rosie, you don't have to poop at your friend's house or in a public restroom. Just put on seven pairs of tights and hope for the best. Araya from Salford says, my new fella. Okay, red flag, don't. <laughs> <laughs> what is this ragtime? My new fella. <laughs> my new fella is very clever and uses lots of long words that I don't understand. How do I tell him I don't understand them without looking stupid? Also, what does facetious mean? Okay, no one is ever going to have sex with you if they think that you're smart. 
I'm not gonna tell you what facetious is because I want you to get laid. Like Susie Dent has never gotten laid. You know what I mean? <laughs> not dictionary corner. <laughs> My dream. <laughs> do you do you want Susie Dent's job? Yes. Is that yeah. why you went on Drag Race? I went on Drag Race <laughs> so that Susie Dent would be unemployed. Yeah. I can't count, otherwise I'd go for Rachel Riley. But um, no. Susie Dent's got a dictionary in front of her. <laughs> oh my gosh. It seems easy. If you say fancy words, men won't want to sleep with you. Thoughts? I See, I like a, a smart person capable of uh, conversations about important things like Doctor Who, Eurovision, <laughs> Buffy the Vampire Slayer. How do I, okay, so her fella uses words that she doesn't understand. How does she, how does she tell him she doesn't understand without looking stupid? I just wouldn't tell her, to be honest. I just smile and nod. Selena from Dorset writes, I met my boyfriend's family for the first time recently. His sister completely ignored me. Later on, I heard her crying to her mom that she didn't like us holding hands at the dinner table. How do I get this petty bitch to like me? <laughs> Wait, so this, this sister doesn't like her own brother holding hands with a girl? Yeah. That's not right. Do you have siblings? Yes. Have you ever disapproved of whoever the siblings are dating? Uh, no. You always liked everyone they've dated. My sister had very hot boyfriends when I was growing <laughs> up. <laughs> My sister's 12 years older than me. So as a kid, she would always have boyfriends, obviously. I would use my pocket money to pay her and her boyfriend to watch them make out. <laughs> I could just go to my sister's room and just be like, keys for me. <laughs> How much was she charging? I mean, all of my pocket money. I don't think it was a, a lot. Also, the ruble doesn't, doesn't <laughs> cost much. I don't know why I've like made the assumption that this is an incest storyline, when actually the sister could have a crush on her. <gasps> How very heteronormative of oh me. Oh my god, incest is more likely than homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. How do I get this petty bitch to like me? Clearly, leave the door open. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like a little creak. Yeah. Let her, give her something. Now, on to our next question. Imani from London writes, My friend said I could have a plus one at her wedding, but changed her mind at the last minute. I won't know anyone else there. How do I tell her this makes me anxious? Clearly, like, there's an element of Imani that feels the need to be there. But Imani's being a very supportive friend when her friend hasn't supported her. It's actually a very triggering situation for me because I once forgot to turn up to my friend's wedding. What were you doing? Drag. I thought it was the next day. None of my school friends were like, what train are you getting? They just all spoke to each other because they assumed I wasn't invited. Rude. Um, and then I just forgot because I thought it was the next day and I found out because uh, my friend Jacob, hi Jacob, put uh, an Instagram post up. Were you like mortified? Yes, I oh cried. Oh my goodness. Sorry, this isn't a therapy session. I, I mean, a, a little bit is the, <laughs> le the leather couches. Do drag on the night of her wedding? Yeah, why not? I don't know. What about like, yeah, just generally stealing the spotlight? Maybe wearing white to the wedding? Turn up in a full gown. Turn up in a gown. Sorry, this was the only thing that everything else is in the laundry. Or just like get a tit out. Are you ready? Yes. I think flares should be banned. What can I do about it? I cut them all in half. How do I get better at sex? Try your hardest. What is a mortgage? Everyone keeps talking about them and I don't understand. Oh, in French, it means death tax. All my friends are socialists, but I don't know what it means. And at this point, it's too late to ask. Can you help? Uh, join in, go on a march. Why do teenagers dress like it's 2001? I lived through 2001 and it sucked ass. Oh, it just means that all the clothes that you saved are now fashionable again. I keep watching flat earth conspiracy vids for a laugh, but it's starting to make a lot of sense. Give me one good reason to think it's round. It's called the globe. That's a theater. <laughs> I genuinely can't hold a conversation with my mom or dad. What's a good boomer conversation starter? Oh. Remember, faxes. What's the sexiest thing a web show chat show host can do or say? Negging. I recently learned about that. Well, thank you so much, Tia. Thank you for having me. I've really loved spending time with you. I really feel like I've learned so much. Thank you so much for coming on Bad Advice. Oh, thank you for having me. But here's some good advice. She didn't forget to shave. She just doesn't want to have sex with you. Goodbye. <laughs>